It's a sad day. We have to talk about it. We can't ignore it. But it's a fact. The new Lord of the Rings MMORPG has been cancelled. Yeah. So if you were, you can say, bored about the Lord of the Rings Online, which is out right now because of the, you know, horrible graphics in the game, though pretty fun gameplay, I have to admit, but graphics is, is a bit outdated. But if you really look forward to the new Amazon Lord of the Rings MMO, it won't happen. So pack your things together and, you know, go back to Diablo 2. Because Bloomberg releases an article, probably like yesterday, and well, actually, on the 17th, yeah, that's yesterday. They released an article. I think it's worth showing it. Also showing their appreciation for Bloomberg. And they released an article yesterday, which says Amazon cancelled cancelled Slaughtering's game announced two years ago. Amazon Inc. in Battle Video Game Division has cancelled an online role-playing game based on the fantasy series Lord of the Rings which was announced in 2019 in another setback for the technology giant. The game had been in development at Amazon Game Studio alongside the China-based Layu Layu Technologies Holding Ltd, which was purchased by conglomerate Tencent. In December, the resulting contract negotiation led to a dispute, dispute between Amazon and Tencent that eventually caused the game cancellation said people family with the matter who asked not to be identified because they weren't authorized to speak publicly about the issue. An Amazon spoken person confirmed that after tense and acquisition of the U, we have been on well they said we have been unable to secure terms to proceed with this title at this time. The Amazon team working on the game will be moved to other projects. We love the Law of Rings IP and are disappointed that we won't be bringing the games to the customers. The spokesperson from Se Seattle-based company said in a statement. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. The cancellation follows a string, string of bad news for Amazon Game Studios, which has been unable to release a successful video game since launching in 2014. The company has cancelled previous announced games, Breakaway and Crucible, another of its game, New World has been delayed repeatedly. Amazon owns the popular streaming service Twitch, but its video game division has been floundering for years because of this mismanagement and cultural clashes between game development and company's principal, Bloomberg reportedly reported earlier this year. So basically, since this Chinese, Chinese company called Layu got bought by Tencent, Amazon and Tencent could not get an agreement on the terms, you know, they couldn't be agreeing how probably maybe the payment models, maybe the game models, anything, you know, maybe Tencent said, hey, you guys work with us, so we want a share of all these Lord of Rings things you're doing. Maybe they said, we want a share of the series we you're doing. I'm just saying stuff that could not be true, but you know what I mean. Basically, Tencent could give Amazon tons of like things saying we want this we want that we want this we want this and amazon said go away we don't want to give you that so you know they canceled the game it could also be amazon saying hey tencent we want all your games with blah, blah 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 you know what i mean i'm not with any of these companies because we know nothing i'm just saying it could be the position where tencent gave some very big like demandings on Amazon, or it could be a Amazon giving Tencent some very big demandings, like, oh, you own a bit about Fortnite, could you do a bit about this? Oh, you owe a bit about Battle.net, you know what I mean? No, I'm taking no sides here, I'm just saying it could be something related to this. But I am very curious to see why it, why they couldn't agree on this game. And since both of the companies have been developing this game, they both kind of you know earn it or you know like own it so i guess that's why they can't just like say okay here take it and then you now develop alone 
And that's probably because they both of them have like been there on the start. So I guess that's um, that's a bummer. So we, we basically have just to play Lord of Lord of Rings Online, which is a pretty old MMORPG. Let's say Lord of the Rings Online release date. It released in two thousand and seven. Yeah, I think that's um, saying a bit about it. So yeah, if you look forward to the new Lord of the Rings MMO, it's not gonna happen. It got cancelled. So you know, yeah, that's how it is. So now we just have to like you know wait for New World, that which is the next Amazon game that is releasing. So maybe it's gonna be better. I don't think that game is gonna be cancelled because they are pretty. You can say close to actually having a final game, so it's going to be interesting to see if how Amazon's New World is going to be. But again, I mean, one good thing we got from this is that they moved all the developers from the Lord of Rings game over to New World, and all the Crucible developers over to New World. So you know, New World team is just getting bigger, bigger, bigger. So that means they can like focus on more stuff in the game. But I mean. Let's see how it ends out. But I just wanted to let you all know that Law of Rings Online, the new MMO from Amazon, is cancelled. Thanks for watching everyone. Leave down a comment, let me know. Let's cry together. Put down in the comment section slash cry and let's all cry together. Have a nice evening. See you in another episode.